This video is sponsored by ptcglstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Before going into the video, please take a second to click that like button, and we're on the road to getting 9,000 subscribers to this channel, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for all of your support and I hope you guys are enjoying the content I put out in this channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing Aerodactyl from the Scarlet and Violet 151 expansion set. Aerodactyl is a dinosaur Pokemon and normally you would have to evolve it by means of the old Amber item card. However, in this build, I'm just going to use Zoroark with the Phantom Transformation ability so that we can simply switch this Pokemon with any of your Stage 1 Pokemon in the discard pile. By using this, we can skip the old Amber and just transform straight into Aerodactyl to put it into play. Aerodactyl is a very unique card because of its attack Devolution Ray. For two colorless energies, it deals 100 damage. And if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, devolve it by putting the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. And you can easily power up this attack with double turbo energy. However, this will decrease your attack damage by 20. This attack is especially great against stage one or even stage two Pokemon because regardless of the current HP of your opponent's evolution Pokemon, as long as its pre-evolution card has less than 100 HP, you will be knocking it out with Aerodactyl's attack damage after devolving your opponent's Pokemon. But since you will be knocking out its pre-evolution, you're most likely just taking a single prize instead of two for most Pokemon EX matchups. On the other hand, the devolution attack can also be very disruptive against most stage 2 matchups because it may eventually deplete your opponent's rare candy resources and prevent them from ever evolving their Pokemon for the rest of the game. Although when facing off with Pokemon V or Pokemon EX that have higher HP or against Pokemon that has pre-evolution cards that is above the KO range, Aerodactyl's devolution ray may not be good enough to knock out anything. However, the damage it deals may still actually be very useful, especially if we combo this with this Raticate. Thanks to its awesome attack, Second Bite. For two colorless energies, it deals 30 plus damage and 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So if Aerodactyl deals an initial 100 damage, Raticate can deal 330 damage and again, this is in addition to the damage already on your opponent's Pokemon. So this attack can pretty much just knock out any Pokemon that Aerodactyl has already weakened. And to deal with single price matchups, I've also included other stage 1 Pokemon that Zoroark can transform into. First is this Electivire more for its high voltage current attack. For 2 lightning and 1 colorless energy, this attack deals 50 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon. This is great for knocking out multiple Pokemon and you can easily power up this attack with the reversal energy which normally counts as 1 colorless energy but if you're behind on prizes, it will count as 3 energies of every type instead. And I've also included a copy of Hisuian Braviary more for its Eerie Cry attack. For zero energy, you put three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it already. And finally, I also added one copy of Flapple, more for its Acidic Mucus attack. For just one colorless energy, it deals 50 damage, times the number of Pokemon your opponent has in play that has abilities on them. Depending on your matchup, this attack can deal as much as 300 damage. With this build though, you will need to set up your stage 1 Pokemon on your discard pile so that you can transform into them with your Zoro Arc. To help you discard cards, you can use the Pokestop Stadium, which lets you look at the top 3 cards of your deck and if any of them are item cards, you put them into your hand. But then you also discard the other non-item cards. You can also use Ultra Ball to discard 2 cards from your hand while searching for a Pokemon in your deck. Professor's Research discards your entire hand, then draw 7 cards, and Xenia's Resolve. To use this card, you have to discard 2 cards from your hand, after which you draw cards as much as the number of Pokemon your opponent has in play. For my recovery cards, I have a couple of Super Rods and Clara. And I am using the Barrel as my draw engine in this build, but another great alternative is Curlia with an ability which you can use to discard one card from your hand, then draw two cards. This build is actually pretty awesome because it can pretty much face off against any matchup. What is the challenge though is getting the Pokemon cards in your discard pile to set up for Zoroark and also making sure you're rationing your recovery cards and special energies. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete decklist in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Aerodactyl. All right, on to our first match. We are going first and we're gonna start with a Zorua in the active spot. My opponent's using a Torterra build. It is a grass type Pokemon, stage two. And it is actually strong against Charizard EX because Charizard EX is weak against grass. 
but our Aerodactyl might be stronger than Torterra because we can just devolve it and hopefully knock them out easily. So we're going to start with a Lava Ball here. And I think I'm going to set up my Bidoof first. Draw Engine should and always should be your priority because that's going to help you draw extra cards and help you with your initial setup. We have Lava Ball. We can probably get Flapple, even Raticate, discard it with Zinnia's Resolve while drawing extra cards. My opponent will start with a Cherubi in the active though. They can evolve that into a Cherum, speaking of, and they can accelerate Grass Energies to their non rule box Pokemon. But my opponent will use Iono. Both players will shuffle their hand to the bottom of the deck and draw cards as many as their prize re prizes remaining. That did find them a Battle VIP pass and they're using Superior V. Okay. So Raticate will definitely come into play in this matchup. Thankfully, we have Lava Ball to find that and Professor's Research to discard it. All right, so now it's our turn. Okay, um, let's get our Raticate. And unfortunately, even though we're discarding these special energies, it is necessary so that we can advance our setup here. We did get a Barrel, which is really good. And then we can evolve into a Zoroark. Maybe we can draw into Double Turbo Energy. We can knock out their Cherubi, but we didn't get anything. And actually, using that Super Rod may have been unnecessary, actually. But it is what it is. It's been used already. They will evolve into a superior V star and use Iono again. Uh, okay, that got us a double turbo energy though. So either we attack with Zoroark or uh, we can evolve into something. We also got Poke Stop from that. So maybe with 33 cards left in our deck, we might be able to discard essential cards to our setup here. Maybe stage one Aerodactyl, right? Okay, they will evolve into a Torterra and end their turn. Let's use Pokestop first. Ultra Ball and Aerodactyl with Electivar is discarded. All right. I am very happy with that. Let me use Ultra Ball so I can set up another Zorark here. And let's see. I can still use Zinnia's Resolve. And again, keep in mind, you have to really ration your special energies, guys. I will transform into Aerodactyl. This is the only attacker right now that can knock out Cherubi. Or actually, either way, I could have just attacked with Zorark, but that's fine. We will transform into or evolve into another Zorark with that draw from the barrel. And we're just going to use Devolution Ray to get a knockout here. We're not devolving Cherubi, but it does enough damage to knock out Cherubi for our first prize. We got a Zorua from that, which is really nice. So, so far so good. My opponent's superior V-Star has two energies, but it's not enough to attack with their main attack. But they do have a V-Star power attack that might be able to knock out my Aerodactyl, but we'll see how they set up here. Another Iono, dude. My opponent has a full set of Ionos in their deck. Okay, there's a Grottle. And another Superior V set up on their bench. And a Temple of Sinnoh. Oh no. So Temple of Sinnoh nullifies the effects of special energy. So our double turbo energy will only count as one colorless energy. But thankfully we have another Pokestop in our hand. We should be able to just remove my opponent's stadium. So let me see if uh, my opponent... No, okay, they're just going to use their V-Star Power Attack, but it only deals 120 damage, leaving our Aerodactyl alive. Dude, all right. I am happy with that. I will be aggressive here, and I will just boss the Superior V-Star, bump out their Stadium, use Pokestop, but ooh, okay. Unfortunately, we did discard some essential cards there. We do have three Double Turbo Energies. Maybe we can draw into them to set up for our next turn. Okay, nothing yet. But we're going to use Devolution Ray to the Superior V-Star, devolving it back to their basic Superior V. It's not enough to knock it out, and they can just re-evolve it, actually. But 
we can just easily finish it off with Raticate on our next turn. However, we will have to dig for that double turbo energy to attack. We have 16 cards left in the deck, so the probability of us getting that double turbo energy is pretty high, but we'll, we'll have to see. Okay, so my opponent's using Eldegoss with the Conlift ability to find them two basic energies from their deck. Put it in their hand. Gardenia's Vigor will be used, but they didn't accelerate anything. Okay. They had the energy, but they didn't accelerate the energies. Path to the Peak is not going to affect us because we don't have any rule box Pokemon. Okay, there's the Cherum. Spring Bloom ability to accelerate two energies to their Torterra. Torterra is ready to attack. And its attack damage output depends on how many Pokemon they have. Uh, depends on how many evolution Pokemon they have in play. So that should be dealing a lot of damage. Anyways, all of our Pokemon are low HP, so it doesn't really matter. All right, 190 damage. Knocking out our Aerodactyl with my opponent's Superior V-Star. And they are able to transfer those energies to any Pokemon they want. All right, so we're going to just promote our Zoroark. We can discard our Hisuian Braviary, get another Zoroark. So our lineup of Zoroark just keeps coming. And that's a good thing. Draw two with RB Barrel. Um, see what's uh, Bidoof. Yeah, let's get Bidoof. Why not? And then I can use Level Ball, uh, Flapple. That's fine. Let me use Iono. Let's get those double turbo energies. Come on. All right, we got it. Yes, we got it. Let's go ahead and use Phantom Transformation and get Eradicate. Now we can use its attack second bite. We have double turbo energy and we should be able to deal 250 damage. That's 330 cumulative damage combined with Aerodactyl's initial attack enough to knock out their superior V-Star getting us the two prizes. That is actually really, really good. I'm really happy with the synergy that Aerodactyl and Raticate have and that's actually what makes this deck really versatile it is full of stage or it is full of single prize pokemon and it can match with any matchup in the meta right now even so here comes another superior v star in the active spot and regal regal blender hits for 190 damage knocking out our radicates and again, the only problem I have here is rationing my special energies. Because if I run out, I might not be able to attack any further. But let's see what we could do here. Um, Flapple could be good. It requires one colorless energy. And then I can just use reversal energy. Because we are ahead in the price exchange. So at least we can hit for 150 damage with Acidic Mucus here. So instead of using Aerodactyl, we can use Flapple to deal that damage. Then use our Zoroark to transform into Raticate, finishing off the Superior V-Star. And then get us another two prizes. And then lastly, we can take care of Torterra, Devolve it, and easily get our last prize with Aerodactyl. So that's the plan. And we have recovery, Clara. Thankfully, we have Clara to recover another Zoroark line. And hopefully that should be the final lineup that we need to win this match. So we have to get another line of Zoroark here and get these two energies in case we run out of special energies. And then we're just going to transform into our Raticate one more time. And then we should be dealing tons and tons of damage here against the Superior V-Star, knocking it out into Oblivion. 460 damage. That is insane. And we get two prizes. There you have it, guys. Radicate is <laughs> pretty crazy. 
Here's the Torterra with the two energies onto it. And it's enough to knock out Eradicate. Eradicate only has 70 HP, but it deals a lot of damage. And thankfully, they're pre-evolution because they used Rare Candy to evolve this Torterra. We can easily devolve it and then knock out its pre-evolution. All right, let's evolve our Zoroark Phantom Transform into our Aerodactyl. And then for our final attack, Devolution Ray with double turbo energy. We'll take a knockout here, deal 80 damage, devolve their Torterra back to their Turtwig, knocking it out for our last prize and for the win. There you have it, guys. Aerodactyl with Radicate is really, really awesome. Okay, moving on to our second match. My opponent won the coin flip this time, and they've decided to go first. And we're going to start with a Bidoof after that mulligan. But we did get a bunch of Stage 1 Pokemon. We can discard those with Zinnia's Resolve. And my opponent will start with two Cramorants, and they're just going to pass. Dude, they're using Lost Zone Engine, and that is not a good setup for a first turn. We did get a Zerua from that draw. Pokestop will get us Ultra Ball and a Switch. We can discard our Aerodactyl and another Pokestop Stadium. Get another Zerua. And I'm going to switch out my Bidoof just in case. That way we can evolve into Bibarel next turn. So now it's my opponent's turn. They're going to use Pokestop. Getting them a bunch of switching card and discarding a Colrus's Experiment. And ending their turn again. Alright, well... Anyways, I wasn't paying attention in this part, so I'm just going to skip it. Basically giving my opponent a second chance for their setup. So let's see what happens. Alright, so it is my opponent's turn again. And they will use Pokestop. This time getting them a bunch of Pokeballs. Nest Ball will get them a Charmander. So this is actually a Charizard EX matchup using the Lost Zone engine. They got a Comfey. I know they have a bunch of switching cards. And finally, they're starting to put cards in their Lost Zone. Because they can't really attack with Cramera until they have four. And they're going to end their turn again. Alright, so my opponent definitely has horrible setup here. We're going to evolve into a B-Barrel. Use Pokestop later, but we're going to draw first. Oh, we should have just used Pokestop first because we could have discarded that Raticate. But that's fine. And we're going to discard Raticate here. I don't think Raticate will be as useful in this matchup. I really just want to deal multiple knockout, hopefully with Electivire and even Hisuian Braviary. But let's go ahead and use Iono. Reshuffle my opponent's cards to the bottom of their deck because they have a lot already. And we have three double turbo energies in our prizes. That is crazy. Uh, let me discard these two. Our setup is horrible right now. We might just have to... Evolve into the Zoroark and then transform into another Bibarel. That way we can draw three extra cards. But we'll see how this goes depending on how, what cards we draw into here. Okay, Bidoof and an Ultra Ball. Um, We have two Zoruas in the discard pile. We have to recover those first before anything. And yeah, we can't really deal any damage this point Braviary needs initial damage from uh, for it to deal uh, damage counters and Aerodactyl is the only option I have right now I can use reversal energy and deal 30 damage to this Comfey maybe you could just uh, add three more damage counters to this with Hisuian Braviary at some point in time but I need to start attacking here and most probably, I could use another Reversal Energy to start using Devolution Ray. But until my opponent gets ahead in the prize exchange, Reversal Energy will continue to count as a single colorless energy. So now, my opponent was able to use Colorless Experiment effectively. Now they have enough cards in the Lost Zone so that they can attack with Cramorant for free. And they can actually just evolve into a Charizard EX if they have the Rare Candy and then just knock out our Aerodactyl. But no, they're gonna retreat even healing their Comfey, dealing 110 damage with their Cramorant for free. But that's 
Not enough to knock out Aer Aerodactyl because it has more HP than what Cramoran can handle. So, I'm um, just going to get Flapple for now. I think Flapple is going to be useful in this matchup because for a single energy, we can actually deal a lot of damage. They have a lot of Pokemon with abilities on them. So, we're going to definitely take advantage of that. So, I need to get a recovery card here. Um, me use Iono. Reshuffle my opponent's hand too. And then... Not what I wanted to see, but let's see. Alright, we got a bunch of item cards. We got Super Rod, which is awesome. Now, let me just recover these basic Pokemon back to the deck. We still have a bunch of Zoroarks available. But what's important is the basic that we can set up. I'm just going to use this Lightning Energy. We can use Devolution Ray to deal at least 100 damage to this Cramorant. And again, we might just be able to use Hisuian Braviary to add damage to this Cramorant and be able to knock it out at some point. But the only hard part about Electivire is that you can't really use the Reversal Energy unless you're behind on prizes like right now. So now I can actually evolve into Electivire, but I need that Reversal Energy and then we can deal a lot of damage to a lot of their Pokemon. But with Professor's Research, we did not get any Reversal Energies at all. So we should have two left in the deck. We have 11 cards left, but no sign of Reversal Energy that we need. Um, let me recover Zoroark and another Lightning Energy. So with this, uh, I can't even attack. I could attack with Hisuian Braviary because it does. You can attack with it for zero energy. Just as long as your opponent's Pokemon have an initial damage counters on it. So we can at least knock out this Cramorant, get our first prize. And we will not be behind on the prize exchange. So that's the only option I have. I will have to do this. Get Hisuian Braviary. Use Eerie Cry for free, dealing 3 damage counters to Cramorant, knocking it out, getting us our first prize. And sure enough, we got a double turbo energy because we had 3 prize. That is crazy. So now, um, we have a few win conditions here. Uh, Electivire. <laughs> I'd like to use Electivire for sure. But I'm... I'm afraid they might have mana fee and then just block off any damage they're gonna use escape rope i'll just put b barrel in the active spot so we have a spare we can actually sacrifice this one if they manage to knock it out that is because the only the only pokemon that can knock out b barrel is with their charizard ex all right there it is so charizard ex will use its ability to accelerate energies onto it or not. Um, Alright, that was really... Interesting. <laughs> My opponent has ha is having a lot of horrible setup here. There's the Manaphy though, so that will block off our bench damage. So Electivire will be useless at this point. And thankfully, Bibero will survive an attack from Cram Cramorant. Because it has... 10 HP more than the damage dealt by Cramorant. All right, so I'm just gonna use Zinnia's Resolve and I need boss and also recovery. So I'll just sacrifice Reversal Energy. Got a Zerua. We have a level ball. So at least we can set up at least one more. We have two more Zoroarks in the deck. And Pokestop Stadium. We're not going to use because we have six cards left in the deck. So if we use Iono, we might be able to draw into those Zoro arcs. And then hopefully with our barrels, be able to draw into the energy we need to keep attacking. As of right now, uh, we have six cards left in the deck. So we are in danger of decking out. They're not attacking with their Cramorant for some reason. They will just pass. So I will just use Clara to recover my Zoroark line again and a basic energy. 
least we can transform into one of our Pokemon. Let's see. Um, could use Flapple. Get a knockout here at least. Because they have a lot of Pokemon with abilities. Actually, they have all their Pokemon with abilities. So we should be dealing 300 damage here. We can knock out this Cramorant. That will get us ahead in the price exchange. And that will get us Zoroark. Cool. Very nice. So now we have a lineup of, of attackers that we can use. And the energies we need. I would have liked to use Electivire to deal those um, spread damage, but it didn't work out. We didn't get the reversal energy when we needed it. And it was too late when my opponent was able to set up their mana fee. So they will attack with Cramorant, knocking out our Flapple. So they're just uh, continuing to attack with their single prize Pokemon. For the meantime, I'm just going to evolve into Zoroark and yeah, I might just have to continue to attack with Flapple. I could use boss orders to get that Charizard EX and then devolve it, but that's going to get me only one prize. Uh, let me go ahead and get Charizard EX here. This does pose a, a little bit of a danger, so I'm going to go ahead and just use Flapple. And then for a single energy, we can use Reversal Energy to power that up. And then deal 300 damage. So while they have a full board of ability users, 300 damage is actually pretty essential. Because now we won't have to use Aerodactyl to devolve it. What I'm going to do is just use Hisuian Braviary to just add three damage counters to it. That will get us two prizes. And that could be my win condition. All I have to do is just knock out two more of their single prize Pokemon to win this one. Um, let me just put Bibarel in the active spot. It is within knockout range anyways. And it doesn't matter if they get ahead in the prize exchange. The double prize that we get from this Charizard EX will and should be able to win us the game. They are going to boss my Flapple though, dealing 110 damage, okay. We still have a bunch of Zoroarks available to us, so as long as we can continue to energize and knock out their single prize Pokemon, we should be fine. Boss's orders... I mean, there's no way for them to heal their Charizard EX, I don't think. But as long as we're, I'm sure that I have Zoroark's left, I could use that to. The problem is I will deck out if I use my draw engine. I could use Iono, but I might have a chance to not energize my Pokemon. I have basic energy though. All right, cool. So we got our Zoroark. We have a lightning energy. So it looks like we are safe. And I can even draw three extra cards with Bibarel, but that's that's really dangerous right now where we are in dangerous ground. So I'm going to continue with this Flapple. Knock out their Cramorant. That will get us another prize and then go from there. We have a boss orders available to us. So if we can draw into that, maybe knock out one more single prize and then just use Hisuian Braviary to finish off that Charizard EX to get us our last two prizes. So not too bad. This combination is not too bad at all. Um, this is a good showcase. Although my opponent did have a bad start in terms of their setup. But it just goes to show how well rounded this, this Aerodactyl and Raticate build is. There's an energy. Alright, cool. Let me just take another knockout against their Comfey. That will get us one more prize. So... The last two will be taken by Hisuian Braviary, just adding three more damage counters to that Charizard EX, getting us our last two prizes. And there you have it, guys. This Zoroark, Aerodactyl, Raticate, they didn't play much of a role, but 
Again, the combination of all the stage one Pokemon in the Zoroark build actually makes a good team to face off in any type of matchups. There goes another Charizard EX, but it doesn't matter. Hisuian Braviary will just go through any defense they have, and it will just add those three damage counters to their Pokemon, any of their Pokemon with an initial damage counters to it. And there's the concession, and we will take that as a win. Good game. All right, moving on to our last match. My opponent won the coin flip, and they're going first. We're going to start with a Zerua in the active spots. And my opponent has Mimikyu and an Abra. So we're going against an Alakazam EX. All right. So this is a winnable matchup. But it is hard to reach that Alakazam EX unless we have boss orders. We can definitely use Aerodactyl, devolve it, and knock it out. First, we're going to use Pokestop. We got a level ball from that. And first things first is our draw engine. So we're going to get Bidoof. And I'm going to use Professor's Research here definitely and then since we have a bunch of ultra ball i can actually set up a bunch of stage one to discard so i think i'm gonna go for electivar that way i can deal multiple damage or even knockouts actually get my aerodactyl because we'll need that in this matchup use professor's research to discard it draw seven cards can use level ball to set up another zerua I can save my Ultra Ball to get up a barrel next turn, and then I'm just going to end my turn here. So now we have boss orders. We have Aerodactyl in the discard pile. We have double turbo energy. So even if they evolve into Alakazam EX here, we can definitely knock it out. But they are going to use Iono that will reshuffle our hand to the bottom of our deck. And now we're back to square one but we did get up a barrel from that so we can at least draw extra cards maybe use arvin to get an ultra ball discard radicate and even this he's braviary and be able to set that up they are going to evolve into their cadabra set up a pidgey on their bench and we got an iono all right um let me use pokestop first we got a Palpad, discarded a Zinnia's Resolve and a Zorark, so that's not good. So what I'm going to do is just use Arvin, discard these two with the Ultra Ball, and then I'll just grab a Zorark. And that's the only one in the deck? Okay. Two are discarded. One is available to us and one is prized. And Electivire requires a lot of energies. We won't be able to use it unless we are behind on prizes to use our reversal energy. So for now, what I'm going to do is just recover these two. I'm just thinning out my hand here so I can use Industrious Incisors to draw three extra cards. And we got Super Rod. I can actually use that to recover my Zoroarks. Alright, so we got three in there. So we got one Zerua and two Zoroarks goes back to the deck. So now we have that, and the best option I have is Aerodactyl. We're not hitting for a lot of damage, no thanks to this bravery charm that Mimikyu has. It does add 50 damage or 50 HP onto it, so we won't knock it out. It will deal our Aerodactyl will deal 80 damage onto it though. So another attack will knock it out. So now my opponent will use an Ultra Ball. Probably they have the components they need to evolve into an Alakazam. And if they have another Psychic Energy, they can start attacking. But thankfully, unless they attack with their first attack, that attack that they can deal from their bench should not be able to knock out Aerodactyl because Aerodactyl has 10 more HP than the damage being dealt by Alakazam. Alakazam EX only deals 120. Aerodactyl has 130 HP, so we should survive an attack here. Unless they have Vitality Band, which I didn't see from Arvin, so we should be okay. They discard Crushing Hammer along with Bravery Charm. They have Rare Candy to evolve into a Pidgeot EX. 
that will help them to find any cards from their deck thanks to the quick search ability and we can actually devolve this Pidgeot EX easily knock it out with Aerodactyl and be done with it so there's a lot of disruptions that we could do with this Aerodactyl it's just actually pretty insane they will use Dimensional Hand, hitting only for 120 damage. Aerodactyl survives an attack, which is pretty cool. For the meantime, we're going to continue to set up the Zorark line. Industrious Incisors for four. And then... You should have a lot more lineup of Zorark in the deck. So... Um, let's see what's the next move because if I knock out Mimikyu that's fine alright we have a bunch of reversal energies in our prizes let me use Iono that's fine I didn't want to give my opponent extra cards but they could just find it with Pidgeot EX so it doesn't really matter at least we'll be able to set up further this turn and I think I'm just going to pass so the reason for that is we got boss orders. Um, I could just boss their Alakazam EX and then devolve it that way. And then with the reversal energy in our hand, we can actually use that to get our Electivire and start attacking. So I just want to be behind on prizes. So uh, I have a few reasons to, to not knock out this Mimikyu. But we'll see how this, uh, my opponent's, my opponent's uh, setup turns out here. They will get a knockout, knocking out our Aerodactyl. So I will just put my Zoroark in the active spot. We got a Bidoof. We can set up another Bibaro line. That will help us draw extra cards. And I think I'm going to go for Aerodactyl. Let's go for that. And what I'm going to do is Reversal Energy will access three energies since we are behind prizes. Let me Industrious Incisors. We got another Super Rod. And I can actually use that to recover my Zoroark lines again. So let me get these three with the energy. And then I'm going to use Devolution Ray. Devolve this Alakazam EX. And then that will knock out their Kadabra getting rid of that attacker we got Zinnia's resolve we only do get one prize for that because we did devolve their alakazam ex but uh you know what now that i think about it i should have used my electivire to deal multiple knockouts last turn since reversal energy was taking effect i could have knocked out this mimikyu along with this abra um all right, that would have been a better move, but that's fine. We did knock out an Alakazam. They have a lineup coming up, but they will need Rare Candy to evolve. And they need to find that Alakazam EX from their deck. They will use Escape Rope, so I'm okay with this since uh, that will preserve my Aerodactyl alive. Manaphy will not be as useful in this matchup, so I'm just going to present it to my, my opponent. Maybe they will knock it out. And then that will leave more space in our our board. But they don't attack. I'm just going to use Zinnia's Resolve to get rid of these two. It's not as useful anymore. Um, reversal Energy is useless though at this point. Because we are no longer behind on prizes. So it doesn't take effect. So I'm just going to pass. I don't want to waste it to just retreat my Manaphy and I can't attack with my Aerodactyl to deal any significant damage. So now my opponent will search out the cards they need with their Pidgeot EX. They will evolve into another Alakazam EX. And for sure they can... Oh dude, they have a boss orders and they're going to knock out... Oh no, no! They can't knock out my Aerodactyl. They will only deal 120 damage. All right, cool. Aerodactyl is uh, pretty awesome, actually. So now, since we have boss orders, we have enough energies. We will just devolve this Alakazam EX again. Getting us another prize, knocking out their Abra after Alakazam EX devolved. 
So now they're going to put Pidgeot EX in the active spot. Thankfully, we got Zerua to put into play. So uh, even if they knock out my Aerodactyl, we can evolve into another Zoroark and just continue the cycle until we defeat all our enemies, getting all of our prizes. So we have four Ultra Balls gone already. So uh, being able to discard Flapple and Aerodactyl is pretty difficult. Uh, I think we still have a few support cards we can use to discard these Stage 1 Pokemon. But this is where we're at. Uh, they have an Alakazam EX but no energies to power it up. We got a double turbo energy from our top deck. So that's really, really good. I can use Clara to recover my Pokemon. But for now, I'm just going to use Lava Ball to set up another Zerua. And then... Draw one card, an Iono. Okay, Iono is actually really good. Let's go ahead and use Iono. Okay, we draw four. My opponent draws five. We got Zoroark to evolve. Very nice. Draw two more with Arbit Barrel. And we got a bunch of energies. Dude... This deck is actually pretty consistent. I I really like it. We go ahead and use Devolution Ray. It's not gonna knock out Radiant Greninja, but Hisuian Braviary will be able to finish it off when we put three damage counters on it for zero energy. So let's see how my opponent uh, deals with this now. They still don't have any energies to their Alakazam. And they can't even attack with Pidgeot EX because they're manually just attaching those energies. They're going to boss my Zoroark into the active. All right, that's fine. And they're just going to pass. They're just stalling at this point. So we got another Zoroark available to us. And then... Let's see what we can do here. We are all out of boss orders, so I'm just gonna draw extra cards with Xenia's Resolve. I'm gonna use Zoroark to transform into Electivire, start energizing it with the Lightning Energy. And then I'm gonna use Hisuian Braviary to deal a knockout blow against this Radiant Greninja. So thankfully we have that in the discard pile. So again, for zero energy, Eerie Cry will just put three damage counters on both Mimikyu and Greninja. That will get us another prize. So that's good. Now this Mimikyu is within knockout range. And then all the meantime, we are just continuing to power up Electivire to deal... Um, spread damage here so now what i'm gonna do is just put this double turbo energy and then attack with high voltage wait dude it requires two lightning energies oh i'm such a dummy okay that was okay <laughs> all right all right that was a huge misplay let me go ahead and use explosive bolts instead we're still dealing a knockout blow against their Mimikyu, so that will get us another prize. Thankfully, we were still able to deal that damage. Oh man, I feel like... I feel so stupid right now. Anyways, yeah, Electivire requires two Lightning Energies to use High Voltage Current. I was aiming to deal uh, spread damage there, but... Yeah, you'll have to forgive me, guys, because uh, this is actually uh, my first time using Electivire in a Zoroark build, so I am a little rusty and I'm not too familiar um, with with the requirements here. So uh, that's that's one of the reasons why practice, especially if you plan on playing in a tournament, getting used to your cards uh, in the deck is very essential, right? So lesson, take that, learn from my mistake, basically. All right, so they're going to knock out my Manaphy. 
Um, they're just taking easy knockouts at this point. That's fine. We don't need Manaphy in this matchup anyways. And finally, we're able to properly uh, power up Electivirus attack. So now we can use high voltage current, dealing only 30 damage though, because of that double turbo energy, reducing our attack damage by 20. But that does put a little bit of damage to a lot of their Pokemon. They're not knocking out my Electivire with Alakazam EX. Because again, we have 140 HP. Alakazam only deals 120. And even Pidgeot EX only deals 120. So we are pretty safe. Alakazam EX, suffice it to say, is actually pretty weak. <laughs> <laughs> it is it has a weak attack but if you didn't know you can actually uh, put uh, attack modifiers to increase its attack even if it's if it's attacking in the bench you can increase its attack damage output with the right tool card and with the right matchup so dimensional hand will deal 120 damage to my electivire that's fine um, you know, with two prizes left, I could just retreat and then, yeah, let's get rid of these three energies. I'm just gonna take knockouts here. So Devolution Ray will knock out this Mimikyu, get us one prize, and then the next turn, we can just, even if they knock out my Aerodactyl, any of their other Pokemon, this Alakazam EX will get knocked out, and even that Pidgeotto can get knocked out next turn. They're just gonna retreat. So that makes it easier for us, actually. We can just transform with Zoroark and then knock out their last Pokemon. And there you have it, guys. Against Alakazam EX, this was not it was actually not a hard matchup at all. So Aerodactyl was definitely able to shine in this matchup. We have double turbo energy. We have dimensional ray. And that's the scoop from our opponent giving us the win. Good game. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel and as always stay safe and have a great day.